Okay, so my crazy apparatus here has grown. Learned a couple of things in the last hour. In this situation where you're using a candle, there's no problem collecting the heat. I mean, the heat sinks help because they help distribute the heat evenly over the over the pelche and funnel it all to the right direction. But what I've learned is, if you want to get rid of that heat, which makes sense, and when you just have the same setup on the top and the bottom, the same mass of, of uh, sinks, it don't work out very good. Um, so I added, as you can see, this big crazy apparatus here. I added an increased ability to dissipate the heat up on the top. I just got a bunch of heat sinks and then at the very top some stainless. And there's actually some pretty good quality heat that, that comes off of this in terms of either, you know, keeping it in the room or, or whatever. So what I've decided I'm going to do with this setup, oh, and I should add is that I am direct charging now. And this is about an hour later from my last video. So we're, uh, we're charging better now. I think I read about two and a half volts coming off of the system. And um, like I say, open circuit yesterday when I measured one module, if you can get about 0.6 volts off of a, off of a single uh, module, then at the same time you're getting over, maybe around 115 milliamps, which is kind of the neat thing about it. It's like it's it's sort of like the opposite of a crystal battery. You got no voltage, but you got you got current. And um, so here we have four in series, let's say. Now, even though that is the case, when I tried to do an inline ammeter and see how much current was going in the battery, it certainly wasn't 100 milliamps. Um, but I might have screwed that up. And then there's also just the impedance matching of a battery that's getting near charged. I mean, it's only going to accept so much current, I suppose as well but um, I think the way I would like to do it is I'm gonna have it so that you can switch it on the JT in the in the beginning get charging going as soon as possible um, but then have it so that uh, you know you can uh, you can switch it over to just to straight inline current because I think it's a, it's a lot more efficient when it's just charging the battery directly and if I can actually get a usable 2.5 volts, um, say 100 milliamps, that's actually enough to turn around and do other things with light and whatnot. But the way I look at this, you're already getting the light out of the candles. I mean, to an extent, it does certainly, it does certainly uh, change the situation. Now, I got looking at all this and I'm thinking, well, shit, you know, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I'm not going to get much light out of my candles anymore with all this crazy thing. So I came up with this and what I'm going to do is that black heat sink over there is going to go on the top. So I'll have these two heat sinks on the top like this and then the smaller Pentium heat sinks will be up underneath in here and then the candles will be down below. And then once I have the two big black heat sinks up there, and all of this, I'm going to use that Arctic, um, what's it called, Arctic Silver. Clean all the surfaces, remove the paint off the back of this so that it's a nice mating matching surface. Then have the second one over here, and then I'm going to have this sit on top. Basically, right? So that'll be full of lake water or whatever. And over the course of a whole evening, you heat up your wash water for before you go to bed. Because I've noticed that it actually, believe it or not, you know, it makes this water kind of nice and lukewarm. So if you were pulling, for example, if you were pulling some water out of a lake or, you know, up here in Canada, I can fill that thing full of ice and uh, it can be sitting there frozen 
and uh, you know we do a lot of camping when there's still snow on the ground so you know you'd have a couple candles on your picnic table but I figured I'd make this whole thing skook them and you know a proper setup because you know what it's like when you're camping you don't want to have something crazy like this ready to fall over and start a fire or something so I I figured I'd you know use up a bunch of junk that I found now these big heat sinks you'll find these in like old PA amps um, sometimes uh, server racks stuff like that like often the sides of a 19 inch rack mountable server might be these things in this case it was an old Yamaha PA amp but they, they that certainly works better um, it's been running for quite a while now and uh, I'm sitting at now I've switched over to, to Celsius I don't know what if uh, maybe it was on Fahrenheit last time I think 60 is the upper limit of these things so I think I'm well within that and when I when I feel it now I certainly have a ton of heat right here it's almost burning my fingertip but when I feel it up top here it's nowhere near as hot as it was getting when all I had was one of these matched to one of these so when you're doing the candle setup you certainly want to dissipate that heat better like this is a hell of a lot hotter right here than it is up at the top so the better you can dissipate that heat you know the better off you are in terms of trying to because as you cool the one side of the pelche of course its perceived internal temperature is less like it's freaking hot it's almost burning my hand right there of course there is some just flame heat coming off the edge too as well but um, I'll actually be kind of surprised if I don't wreck these things just fooling around with it. I'm, I don't know if I can believe this, this meter. You know, I really don't know. It just never seems to be reading hot enough. Ah, see, that's, that should be real hot by that black thing right there. Yeah. yeah, I guess it is right. You'd think it'd be hotter right here because it's practically burning your finger. I'm trying to get it right on the module. I think they're all right. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. But uh, charging effect is definitely better. That was at 1.22 about an hour ago. And I had been playing around last night quite a bit too. And uh, these little candle lights go a long time. I'll see if I can't get some that are uh, honey beeswax. But anyways, that's going to be my new rig. And I think that's going to work out pretty good. Thanks for watching.